is MKBHD still wrong about the S23 taking fake photos? He admitted in yesterday's video uh, that he was wrong, but it seems like he's still sucking up to Samsung, and I'll explain exactly why, giving you guys a lot more detail about what's happening and why Samsung isn't being completely honest. Now, with that, I'll give you guys my opinion coming from a person who loves the iPhone, and if I think Apple should be doing the same thing. Just like many other YouTubers, I have been very impressed with the zoom capabilities with Samsung's phones going all the way back to the S20 Ultra when they introduced this telescopic super zoom. But it was the S21 Ultra that absolutely blew our minds. And since that first moonshot, we've been taking shots like these because it absolutely embarrasses what Apple does. But it turns out we, along with many other people, were outright duped. Now me, doing photography as a profession for many years, I was always a little bit skeptical about the quality they were getting. It's that fake. two and a half? It's fake. <laughs> it's CGI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now we know for sure, Reddit user iBreak Photos did a very clever test to see this. Now MKBHD did address this, but he skimmed over some things and I think he made it a little too nice for Samsung and we actually have even more details that were just updated. Originally, the Reddit user took this high resolution photo of the moon, he downsampled it super small, added a bunch of blur, and then he clipped out the highlights to get rid of that detail. Here's an upsized version of that where you don't see anything at all. And then he zoomed in with his phone, as you guys see right here onto the monitor, and we see all of a sudden, Bam, there's detail out of nowhere. But what's crazier is once this photo is processed, we get this moonshot, which looks absolutely incredible. Like you took a very expensive DSLR and you attached it to a telescope to take that photo. The before and after is absolutely startling and absolutely impossible, which is not what MKBHD said. Now, before I show you guys the updates, that the user did. First, let me tell you about our partner, Case Coup. Their Magic Stand case combines the best and most wanted aspects of a case into one, and they have this brand new frosted color, which is really nice. You've not only got a great and durable design with strong MagSafe magnets built in, but the MagSafe ring is literally on a hinge, so you can use it as a finger grip or as a stand with a huge degree of adjustability, which is perfect for watching videos. And the best part is that it folds back completely flush with the case, so it doesn't interfere with any other MagSafe chargers or accessories. So check out the link and all of the discount info in the video description below. Now I have to say that I appreciate that MKBHD admitted that he was wrong in saying that there's no fakery going on and that he should have tested more. But what's weird is even though he addressed multiple points, he didn't really give a lot of the major detail. Now Samsung does have an article that talks about how they do certain things and he was saying they don't fake or overlay anything. But going back to that original article, I break photos address this and how Samsung isn't being completely honest and that if you do turn off scene optimizer, even after that fact and blurring out all of that detail, clipping all the highlights, with scene optimizer off, it still is processing a photo that is downright impossible to do using Photoshop because that detail is clearly not there. You go from this blob of mess to something that's slapped on detail. And that is with Scene Optimizer, what is doing this turned off. He also added more edits here where he took a photo that has two moons there, one fully visible that the phone can recognize as a round object, likely the moon, and then another one. And after taking that photo, you could see that here at the bottom, we have a moon that has a ton of detail, looks amazing. And then the one above that it didn't recognize as the moon, just being a blurred blob anyways, without that extra detail that was added. So how big of a deal is this really? Well, Samsung's been doing this for a while. Here's the S21 Ultra compared to the 12 Pro Max. Massive difference, but they've been increasing what is actually happening. With the S21 Ultra, another user took some images here and he showed how much detail 
was added, just taking a photo of his monitors a couple years ago. But then he took a smiley face and added it where it clearly shows completely gray, no texture. And then that texture was turned into things that look like craters, basically things that are slapped on detail that's not actually there, not being enhanced. So while MKBHD doesn't seem too phased about it and he's trying to be nice to the brands, which makes sense, a lot of people are upset, especially when Samsung is pushing advertising like crazy, literally making fun of telescopes and showing off their phone, being able to take amazing shots of the moon. And it's not only in that one ad, it is in a bunch of ads showing space, showing the capabilities, when in fact, a lot of that is fake and it's added on AI detail. Now, how upset am I? Obviously, I'm an iPhone fan, and obviously we've showed off many shots where the iPhone gets killed with these kind of shots and you now know why. But to be completely honest, in this day and age, where a lot of images have a lot of processing and they do look more like what our eyes have seen uh, compared to phones or even DSLRs where it can't capture all of that. So all this photo stacking does help. I would say if there's a beautiful moon and uh, we're going out somewhere and I wanna remember that, I would rather have this AI kind of faked shot than a blurry mess like we've shown you guys over the years with the iPhone photo or even a Pixel 5X like you see here. But with that said, I just wish they wouldn't be advertising it that much and even having an article saying it's not putting in fake stuff, it's just really good enhancement, when in reality, based on that Reddit poster, it is impossible to do without AI adding things in. Now I will say that I am absolutely shocked how much detail Apple is now getting out of a 3X compared to a 10X on a Samsung without that AI additions. For example, this shot right here, the Pixel has a 5X and it got destroyed. And this shot right here, how is a 3X camera keeping up with a 5X Pixel? It's very, very good algorithms. Now, if you guys wanna see that video, I'll link it with the end card, but I wanna hear your guys' opinion. How much does this really matter? Do you care about Samsung faking this? And was MKBHD a little bit too nice to Samsung, kind of downplaying it with his video talking about this whole issue and how he was wrong? Now, I'm also making a comparison with the S22 Ultra in the 14 Pro Max going against 200 megapixels against 48 megapixels, both with compressed files and using Samsung's Expert RAW that gives you the full flexibility. Can it really compare to Pro RAW? And I think you'll be very surprised with some of the shots. Megapixels isn't always the best thing or isn't always uh, better images. So make sure you guys click that circle above to subscribe if you guys wanna see that and check out one of those great videos right over there, the comp camera comparisons and other comparisons. And I will see you in the next video.